The Outrigger Reef Waikiki, look at this, is celebrating the Aloha Yokohama Ukulele Festival this Tuesday, March 26th. Joining us live in studio, Kalai Kamarulo. He's a band teacher at Kapalama Elementary and Luana Maitland Area Director of the Cultural Experience of the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Resort. I just love listening to this. Good morning, Kalai and Luana. So tell us what is going to be happening on Tuesday. And this is, looks like it's a Kani Kapila. So much fun. Yes, um, good morning. Aloha Kakaiaka. Uh, Kani Kapila has been celebrating this whole month with our anniversary. And we have this, to end our celebration this month, we have this um, ukulele festival um, at the Kani Kapila Grill. Um, at the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort on Tuesday, March mm -hmm. 26, which happens to be Prince Kuhio's birthday. Yes. And so, um, this yeah, is going to be exciting. Happy. So, Kalei, you as a ukulele instructor, but also you know an award-winning musician. So, tell us about what this means to have this festival. Uh, I'm so excited and fortunate um, for Kani Kapila Grown at Iloana to um, allow my students to be able to perform on a stage like Kani Kapila Grill. Um, they're really excited. They're fifth grade students. Wow, um, that will be you, exciting. Kalihi, they got all the talent. So yeah. I'm very excited to feature <laughs> wow. them. Yeah. Okay, so, so who can attend? Like what, what is, what's going to be happening at this Kani Kapila? Who can, who can attend for those who want to watch all of you? Okay, so Kani Kapila is at the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort, but it's open to the local community as well. So anybody is welcomed. Our guests, of course, will be there. They'll see all the excitement, um, being able to watch these children uh, perform um, right there on stage, so. Okay, so, so what does this mean, Kalai, for you to share your experience of playing ukulele and also teaching them? Uh, you know, it's actually, it runs in the family. I come from a family of teachers, so. Uh, it's so meaningful to be able to, to do the same thing that my dad and his dad did yes. and to be able to share all the knowledge they've passed on to me with the next generation. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, um, Luana, when you do this Kane Kapila, so tell us, when people come to this event, what do you hope that they walk away with after watching this <laughs> fabulous performance? Yeah, well, it's every night. Um, seven days a week from six to nine. It's all Hawaiian music. And the musicians are all um, Nahoku Hanohano Award yes. um, nominees or even winners. And so, you know, what we want our visitors to take yes. back with them is that this is what true Hawaiian music is. Yes. And that they also fell in love with the music and would want to come back or share this information with their friends or family that's going to be in Hawaii to come out and to listen to traditional Hawaiian music. But what's most important to me is that the local community comes. I mean, at least 50% of our, our customers in Kanikapila are locals. Yes, of course. Yeah. I want to be there too, yeah. to watch all the other kids. <laughs> so this is going to be exciting. So, so now when you perform and the, these students, how easy was it for them to learn about how to play the ukulele? Uh, well, I think because I teach them in a big group of usually 45 students yes. all at the same time, um, just them working together and seeing each other learn encourages them to want to be able to keep up with their friends and do it successfully together. And speaking of doing this successfully, Kala'i is going to bless us with a performance. Mahalo. As I gazed out to the sun beyond the shore, the memories of the days long before. Come crashing like the waves It makes me miss those days And I will want to go back to my home In Okihei Sunday mornings Golden sand beneath our feet Those playful waters Always there to ease the heat 